Good day everyone, this is Jake Rodriguez Pomperada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. In this video tutorial, we will continue our study in writing computer programs in our C++ programming series. Before we start, if you like this video tutorial, please click the like button, share, leave a comment, in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials so let's get started we are already here in our dev c++ ide or integrated development environment i am using dev c++ because not only it is free uh, it is easier to write c++ programs in this programming environment so the first thing that we will do, uh, our program for this uh, series is Simple it Interest Program. Now to give you an overview what this, uh, the program will do is that it will ask the user to give the principal amount of money that the customer being loaned and then the monthly interest rate and how many months uh, did the client would pay the certain amount so our program will compute its interest so before we uh, before we write the program we will start writing the comment of our program so here we have here simple underscore interest dot cpp this is the file name and extension of our program next i will write my name as the author of this program Jake Rodriguez Pomperada a date uh, today is October 14 2019 uh, today is Monday 9.04 a.m. Uh, p.m. rather. My email address is if you like to contact me is jkrpomperada at gmail dot com Next we will use the library file sharp include io stream this library file is being used for input output in our program using namespace this is std standard okay so int or maybe we can try vo the word void no? main starting point of our program execution this is a function that our C++ compiler reads when we first run our program to check for syntax error and during we execute our program to run our program rather so I will declare a series of variable let's say for example float p equals 0, 0.00 comma r for a rate comma time 0 and uh, simple si for simple interest 0, 0.00 0, 0. if we want to have some two decimal places we will use io manip input output manipulator for our set with later on in our program now after we are through declaring our series of variables in our simple interest solver the next step that we will do is to write the new line to new line console out Backslash T horizontal tab simple interest simple loan interest solver okay okay this is the name of our program 
we'll copy this one okay the first task is okay console out horizontal tab enter principal amount this refers to the amount that our borrower or our client will loan cn p variable p we'll copy this one paste the next is enter rate of interest represent console in greater uh, right shift operator by the r variable copy and paste and then by this time we enter time okay so variable t okay we will be performing a series of computation so si represent for simple interest open parenthesis p asterisk r asterisk t close divide by 100 okay so here we can have console out let's say for example set precision to for two decimal fees, uh, places right there on in our program and then we have here the word fix now take a closer look this command now enables us to use two decimal places in our program we can able to use this function including the fix because of this library file sharp include io manip io means input output manipulator without this library file it is virtually impossible for us to use this command that enables us to have two decimal places in our program so so let's say console out new line new line the simple interest is let's say for example in dollars okay we will call again si here and then we will copy this new line and then console out and then we have here end of program that tells our user that our program is already ended okay so before we compile our program let us review no, the things that we have done first thing first we declare a series of variables in this portion of our program and then from here until here until this portion we accept the principal amount rate of interest and then the time the user will pay the, uh, the amount that is being loaned and then the SI here is assignment statement and then we have here the formula open and close parenthesis principal amount multiply by rate multiply by time uh, by time represent by variable D close parenthesis divide divide by 100 here we are using set precision 2 if we want two decimal places fix and then in this portion will display the amount that is being computed and then end of the program that the, uh, tells the user of our program that our program is already terminated so the first thing that we will do is to save our work save press ctrl s let us go with our directory c++ video i will make a folder here and then I will name the folder simple interest okay press enter key enter key and then simple underscore interest dot cpp now simple underscore interest is our file name and dot cpp is the extension click the save button okay so let us 
compile our program to check if there is some syntax error along the way okay okay there is compile uh, int okay so void will not work in this case so uh, we're using int compile and run okay so principal amount uh, uh, simple loan in the resolver inter principal amount let's say for example five thousand dollars rate uh, five percent time ten so we have here two thousand five hundred so okay we have the right result to decimal places but the problem is the formatting okay Again, we will run our program. Sounds very interesting. Huh? Compile and run. Okay, so in the amount, let's say for example, 10,500. Interest rate, let's say for example, 4.6% time 12 months. So we have here 5,796. So here we already done writing our simple loan interest solver in C++. If you like this video tutorial, please click the like button, share this share this video tutorial on the social media just like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorial. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you have learned something new in our C++ series program. This is Jake Rodriguez Pompirada. Bye bye for now.